back somewhat. Not not as severe as it was last January, but definitely uh, a oh. significant uptick over the last week or so. In a bit of irony, isn't it good news that, that Omicron is uh, taking over uh, uh, transmiss, uh, transmissibility uh, and uh, also causing Delta to become a well and it's just going to take over virtually the entire COVID uh, uh, picture in the United States because it's less severe. And wouldn't you want less severe? Uh, if you're right, you said? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 and we're still admitting them to the hospital, which said they're going to put on ventilators for the more severe ones. So again, you know, COVID always, that was the argument of people that say, oh, we're making too big of a deal of it. It's, it's a small percentage of people who get it that actually get critically ill. But when you look at the yeah. outcome of the world, hey, you're going to give you a problem. People that are getting critically ill. Uh, and so if we're going to have to go through this all again with, uh, with Omicron because our antibodies may be a little less effective, so now some of the people who already had COVID are going to get this one again. Uh, it's not really great news. It's, it's better than it being like, more deadly than the other with more transmissible and more deadly. It's a bad combination. So we're catching a break here uh, to some extent, but uh, it's still the same thing that we have to stop and spread it. I don't think even if it was a severe assault, it would be in better shape right now because. We have a certain number of people that are oh, in okay. We have now some oral treatments coming down the road. We have the IV antibodies that we can give. And so we, we do have options here which we didn't have before. And uh, you, you didn't mention the deaths oh, on the time. Uh, I'm assuming that they're a fraction of uh, the Delta or certainly the original COVID that came out. Yeah, I'm assuming they will be smaller too, but that, that part of the data we don't really have yet. You know, we just know that people are getting hospitalized. You realize that once people are in the hospital, some of them are in there for two, three weeks before they die, even longer. So that, that data is going to be probably delayed. Okay, I mean, I uh, had a flash, but that's a typical handle flash. If they're going to die anyway, why keep them around for two, three weeks? It's a really expensive, isn't it? Well, no, it sounds like you work for the health insurance companies, right? That's cost-effective care. It's just let them die on the first few hours, not for you. Yeah, that's, that's true. When do you find out, or do you find out, uh, that a patient that goes into a uh, mission hospital has one of the variants? Never. Oh, interesting. Yeah, no, we don't. We don't find out. We just find out, like I said, that um, that the circulating oh, versions are this percentage or that so percentage. So we have. There's no way to tell that this patient has this variant. Right, right. We just get a, a COVID test, and the and the, the still the same COVID test, and if you were positive or negative. That's the concern too. Is that if a variant changes enough that it actually yeah. makes the test even less effective as far as detecting it, and all of a sudden we're getting negative tests. Um, we do have, we have to use a machine just because it, it worked out for us easier and, uh, you know, expense-wise it's very similar. We have a four way test that gives us influenza A, influenza B, COVID, and RSV. So now when I test people a lot of times, uh, I'm finding other things. So, I, you know, yesterday I treated people with COVID, treated people with my first case of influenza for the season, and somebody with RSV. So we're getting all of it now. Let's take a break. We'll come back. Uh, I want to talk about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine wow. and uh, uh, the warning that we're uh, now being advised about. Uh, we'll be right back with Dr. Jim Keene. This is KFI AM 640. Let's check in with Jennifer. Congress is softening the punishment for military members who refuse to get a COVID-19 vaccine. Lawmakers approve letting them be honorably discharged instead of kicking them out so they can continue getting military benefits. The governor of Florida says he's taking a stand against critical race theory being taught in schools and in the workplace. Ron DeSantis is calling for the state legislature to enact the Stop Woke Act, which stands for Wrong to Our Kids and Employees. And Lady Gaga wants to go to Broadway. She talked to Variety on a podcast and said 
She wants to write her own music. She explains she loves yeah, musicals yeah. and knows a lot yeah, about yeah, musical yeah, theater. Yeah, yeah. We've got your ride with DKFI in the sky. Next. Well, you've heard me talk about my friends at Sunday and how they can sell your home fast without any repairs, without the hassle of dealing with showing, realtors, cleaning, or making upgrades. Now Sunday has made the process even easier for those who want to sell a property fast. Now to Sunday for your free no obligation cash offer. They're going to visit your property, take photos, and do a 3D walkthrough. They'll package your property details and send it to the thousands of local investors in their database who are actively looking to buy property. The average homeowner receives 12 offers on their property. It's quick and easy. Plus, you can close in as little as 10 days or they have the flexibility to close in months. They can even give you a $10,000 cash advance when you sell with Sunday. Go to Sunday.com, S-U-N-D-A-E.com, or phone us, 825-OFFER, 825-OFFER. Get a free no obligation cash offer at Sunday.com, S-U-N-D-A-E.com. Sunday's California license is really Hurry into mattress firm for your own sale. Get a king bed for a queen price or queen bed for a twin price. And save up to $500 on select mattresses from Steely, Serta, Sleepy, and more. Plus, get a free adjustable base with qualifying purchase. Well, 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 it's mostly cloudy today with a slight chance of rain as it'll be in the mid 50s to low 60s. This report is brought to you by Mattress Firm. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Shopping oh. Center, we make it easy. We're checking the 405. Yeah, it doesn't take long for the 405 to get in trouble when it the last report. We're going towards Long Beach now, oh. southbound. Okay. Southbound 405 test 710 near Atlantic. Something yeah. bad just happened there. See, she is helping out the traffic is smooth for all homes. As you approach the 710, so please do be careful. And now northbound, we're on Hawthorne Boulevard going through the curb there. Also, it's yellow hat. Bad crash, fire department helping out, and that's really starting to stack up. Coming away from the 110. Find the way going north 110, west 105. It isn't terrific. It's about the same. North of Hawthorne Boulevard on the 405, uh, you'll be okay. And good news for Luca Lake. Westbound 134 past Hollywood Way. CHP, freeway service control, great work by everybody. Got everything out of lane. All lanes are up a little slow going through. AFI in the sky helps get to there faster. I'm Jeff Farr. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Hurry into Mattress Firm's year-end sale. Get a king bed for a queen price. Or a queen bed for a twin price. And save up to $500 on select mattresses from Steely, Serta, Sleepy, and more. Plus, get a free adjustable base with qualifying purchase. It's time when you're talking about L.A. drinking water. They found arsenic levels 430 times what's considered safe. And San Diego's just as bad. You poor Pete, I hope you like drinking halocytic acid. Because your drinking water has 254 times the safe amount. We all know tap water's awful. And you're drinking, showering, and bathing your kids in water with cancer-causing chemicals. I know we joke around on the air, but that's really serious. Do what I did, call Purigan Water. They've been in business for over 35 years. Purigan turns tap water into pure, delicious water, and it comes with a free six-day alkaline drink system. I know, holidays are here, money's tight, I get it. But if you call Purigan right now, they're going to install both systems with no money down and no payments for three months. Plus, lifetime service at no charge. Don't wait unless you're trying to get rid of your in-laws. Otherwise, call Purigan, 844-80-WATER, 844-80-WATER, or P-U-R-AGAINWATER.COM. That's PuriganWater.COM. Are you ready to go to the homeowner's show? Are you ready to go If so, I'm here to tell you it's not too late. And what's the home with Lennox Financial? Although the lowest rates may be in our rear view mirror, as the economy recovers from the biggest economic shock of our lifetime, rates still remain near historic lows. In fact, with the dramatic increase in home values, this may be the perfect time to put that new home equity to work. Take advantage of our cash out refi program and cash out for credit cards, car loans, or other high interest rate debt. So finally make those home improvements you put on hold for so long. Best of all, we can do this with no closing costs. That's right. Whether it's a conventional, FHA, or VA loan, we'll pay for your title, settlement, lender, and recording fees. So call Lennox Financial at 888-455-3669. That's 888-455-3669. It's the biggest no-brainer in the history of mankind. Licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. And then number 3304. Not all loans apply. Equalizing lender. Visit us at Lennox Home Loans. Or call for additional cost information. Other restrictions apply. Rates are 
Not a brain wave. Absence of women with metastatic breast cancer or industry. With this breast cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. I am living in the moment and taking eye brands. Health is cyclic. Eye brands, 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive, person negative MBC as the first hormonal base. Oh, the brain Ask your doctor about eye brands and visit eyebrands.com. Eye brands may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Eye brands may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. So to be smooth to die. Turn your doctor right away if you have any more worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking eye brands, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection. Either the rest of your problems are or plan to become pregnant or are breastfeeding. Any side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, this holiday, you can spend all week preparing the perfect feast. Or you can just go to Sizzler.com slash eat and eat. We're ready to throw holiday dinners for six, starting at eighty-four ninety-nine. Get 24 ounces of slice tri tip, three pounds of mac and cheese, three pounds of mashed potatoes, a and a lot of jumping of green beans. Take home holiday dinner and start at $84.99. But you have to order ahead, so go to Sizzler.com slash PGME today. When I ran away with my kitchen, I wanted to stay on budget and the next day. So I got a cool tracker on how that's H-O-U-D-B. The program has provided an online project in hours. So I could track the budget, the three changes, get updates, and even see a project timeline. With a big renovation, that's really reassuring. For a great home renovation experience, find the right pro for the job at How. That's H-O-U-Z-Z. Celebrate your favorite podcast at our iHeart Radio Podcast Awards on January 13th, including My Favorite Murder, winner of the Audible Audio Pioneer Award, celebrating the voices that are taking risks, challenging assumptions, expanding the audio art form, and taking us to places we've never been. Audible is a proud sponsor of the Audible Audio Pioneer Awards. Listen to the best of what you love with Audible Originals, audiobooks, podcasts, and more. Your crime, sci-fi, memoirs, and wellness. Audible's got something for every mood. Try it for free when you sign at Tens of thousands of homeless defecating the streets, guys dying in the streets, mental patients, drug addicts, going to smash and grab, huge amounts of garbage, murder rate, highest it's been in many years. Again, the accomplishment is mayor's committees. The Olympics. This is all to in seven years from now. Done and ten. We gave it to. It's getting a blather about how oh, they can't possibly fit on KFR. Now you can take my Oh, that's so so good. Oh, that's 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 for joining us. The issue is uh, the Johnson Jackson vaccine, how uh, there's been yet another concern about the J and J vaccine with the blood clot, or there's more concern about the blood clot. Uh, uh, care to comment on that, please? Sure. I mean, so we, we've known for a little bit now that uh, that the uh, 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 you know, for younger people as well, uh, the, the cardiac issues, uh, myocarditis. So, um, you know, it's, it's definitely not the preferred vaccine at this point. The hard part is people are just ahead of us. Why are we actually still considering this, right? When we have two other vaccines that don't seem to have this problem. And it's because uh, it's a risk-benefit thing. You look at the Johnson Johnson vaccine, it's a single-dose vaccine. It doesn't require the, the cold storage. Uh, so for certain populations that you're never going to see a second time, like migrant farm workers, maybe homeless people, that type of thing, uh, you know, it's a lot easier to use. And so if you start looking at that population of no vaccine versus a vaccine that has this extremely small risk of a blood clot, the, the benefits are somewhat outweighed by that risk for the blood clot. Uh, the blood clots are usually in, in younger women or women at least below, uh, you know, less than 40 or 50 for sure. So is there a way that we can just kind of thread the needle here and use this in the higher risk population if we need to, um, or, you know, and, and save it for that, but really issue it something that says, hey, the other two vaccines are preferred because they don't have these problems.
Yeah, well, how about the efficacy of a single Johnson & Johnson shot versus a single Pfizer or Moderna shot, half vaccination? Yeah, you know, that's a good question. I think that the, the Johnson Johnson will probably wins on that one for a single dose shot. Uh, and that's why, you know, it's still, it's still a preferred, you know, it's the only one recommended for a single dose. So I think we're still stuck with that as being a preferred method. And then when you look at a single dose of Pfizer and then the risk of getting COVID and getting severely ill from it, you're probably back above the level of risk of the blood clot. Uh, you know, for for the Johnson and Johnson. So, and then you think about other areas of the world too, where maybe it is harder to get something that requires refrigeration to that level. So the Johnson and Johnson may still have significant use. You don't want to just blanketly get rid of it because you know six out of a million people have gotten a blood clot. Right. Uh, but yet you don't want to ignore that either. I mean, if there are better options and we have plenty of the Pfizer and Moderna, why are we still doing the Johnson & Johnson if we have those options? Yeah, on the booster issue, uh, we're finding out, or maybe it's already a fact, uh, that a, uh, a subsequent shot of uh, Pfizer or Moderna uh, gives us additional protection. And uh, I haven't heard that about Johnson and Johnson, and the issue of mixing and matching the various uh, the, the various vaccines. Well, I mean, they have allowed now mixing and matching. So if you need a booster and you had a Johnson Johnson, it is okay now, that, you know, to go and get a Pfizer or Moderna booster. Um, but yeah, I think that we've agreed that. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard about the Johnson Johnson booster yet, but uh, you know, we we have agreed that the immunity wanes over time, and that especially with this Omicron variant, if it's been a while since you've had your booster, you know, it's probably time to start thinking about it, especially if you're in a high-risk group where you're, you know, thinking you're going to be exposed, like healthcare workers and people like that. And just one quick last one. This is just a really interesting one, and that's NFL players are four times more likely to die of ALS, uh, Lou Gehrig syndrome, and is that simply because of the CTE issue, getting dinged in the head so many times? Yeah, so, you know, that's, that was interesting because they, they looked at, you know, CTE, as we learn more about that, they see that you know, what's going on inside the brain with CTE has a, a lot of similar looks to it as ALS, so they started wondering whether there's some link there between it, and of course, you know, we do know that there have been uh, publicized athletes that get ALS that, that are involved with head trauma type sports, so they looked at this and, and did realize that there is a significant increase. But when you're talking about, you know, one out of 100,000 people to get this disease and now it quadruples it to now it's four out of 100,000, it's still not a huge number, especially when professional athletes in this field, there's, there's so few. Um, so that's why it took, they had to look at people who participated in these types of sports, head injury type sports, uh, football, for, you know, for 50 years to be able to come up with this conclusion. Yeah, I, I'm always skeptical of the reports, and we see them on the news all the time, they discover that uh, a uh, certain drug or a certain disease has increased uh, 30%. So instead of uh, one, point, one out of 100,000 or half a million, it goes to 1.3. And that is uh, just such a, a, a stupid comparison uh, that I always look at, oh, come on, guys, really? Uh, but it's great headlines. Jim, thank you. Uh, we'll talk again. Uh, lots of medical news coming up, so we're probably going to hear from you fairly regularly. You have a good day. Don't kill anybody, okay? You too. Okay. Except I do. It's a different uh, philosophy that Jim and I have. Clearly, your mouth is a gate. You just told him, don't kill anybody? Well, yeah, he's, you know, he's a doctor, you know. Like, high five, have a nice day, don't kill anybody. Yeah. See you later, tell your wife I. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Too many qualified students are shut out of uh, UC and even uh, Cal State University system, and there's a new study that offers some solution. Boy, has the world changed, especially at the state university system, uh, state college system, actually, where we went to school. Uh, yeah, would we get in today? Uh, you know, that's the question, isn't it? Well, to get, considering where you and I went, I yeah, maybe. <laughs> to, get, to, to get into school or not to get into school, that is the question. We'll be right back. KFI AM 640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. With the iHeartRadio app, you get KFI anywhere, even at the North Pole. Yeah, we have also, listen, the, the smart ones, anyway. KFI.
KOSP HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the Anchor Radio app. Shaking out what's in a shimmer. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. The Coast Guard and state officials have been looking into reports of an unknown sheen off the coast of Bolsa Chica in Orange County. The report yesterday said it looked like tar. The sheen was said to be about 30 yards by 30 yards. The Coast Guard says it was too dark to see anything last night, but they'll be flying over today. News is brought to you by Reuter Hero. Three companies have been indicted on negligence charges over the way they handled the oil spill off the coast of Huntington Beach. A federal grand jury says Amplify Energy and its two subsidiaries made six major mistakes during the pipeline leak, including wrongly responding to eight separate leak alarms over a 13-hour period and improperly restarting the pipeline that had been shut down following those alarms. The companies are facing the possibility of five years probation and millions in fines. The pipeline began leaking the afternoon of October 1st, but the companies allegedly continued to operate the damaged pipeline on and off until the next morning. As a result, about 25,000 gallons of crude oil spilled into the ocean. Steve Gregory, KFI News. A sanitation worker strike that impacts more than a dozen cities in Orange County could be over before the trash piles too high this weekend. The meeting was very positive. Teamsters Union rep Jeanette Barnes says labor negotiations are going well. We're very optimistic. Republic Services General Manager Chris Kintop agreed, but says in the meantime, emergency response teams continue service. To critical infrastructure like hospitals, assisted care facilities, and schools. Huntington Beach Councilwoman Rhonda Bolton says Republic could have communicated better about the strike, which started last week. It was chaos trying to figure out what the situation was at the very beginning. Huntington Beach declared a local emergency this week so the city could quickly pick another trash collector in case a deal is not reached. In Orange County, Corbin Carson, KFI News. Detectives with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department say an 89-year-old woman has been beaten to death by her 31-year-old grandson. Lieutenant Charles Calderero says deputies were sent to the woman's home Tuesday night in El Monte. There was a call, either uh, a friend or, or a relative or somebody that knew uh, the victim or, or had heard something about uh, something occurring at that location. Calderero says the woman was found beaten and bleeding. She died a short time later at the hospital. The grandson was then booked for murder. There apparently is no motive. The number of people in the hospital with COVID-19 in L.A. County has gone up by about 100 since last week. Health officials say there has been a post-Thanksgiving increase in infections and case rates. App-based drivers in L.A. have been given a lesson in self-defense. Drivers have practiced throwing punches and learn the right stance to get into if they're attacked. Tim Sandoval with the Mobile Workers Alliance says drivers face threats every day, including attacks from passengers and carjackings. And they don't feel right now that they get the support that they need from gig companies. Um, reporting these incidents can be kind of difficult. Uh, they don't feel they get the right responses that they need to when that happens. Organizers say with drivers being classified as independent contractors, they often do not get workers' comp if they're attacked. Blake Trolley, KFI News. Some people in the Bay Area have responded to an increase in auto break-ins by leaving their trunks open to show there's nothing inside. A former San Francisco PD chief says that could cause other problems like stolen batteries and car tires or a ransacked glove box. San Francisco police say there's been a 25% increase in car break-ins so far this year compared to last year, and the city's seen a 25% spike in auto burglaries. Oakland is seeing a similar trend. And the holiday travel season has started, and it's going to be a busy one at LAX. From now, today, until the beginning of January, we're expecting 3.5 million passengers to come through the airport. That's the busiest we've been in the last two years. Victoria Spilabati with LAX says people should plan to arrive at least two hours before a domestic fight, flight and three hours before an international one. We've got your drive on the 118. Hey, Beth, good morning. Thanks for letting us ride along with you. Now, I just wanted to point this out to you. I hope it's clear, but eastbound 118 in Topanga. That's on the downhill side. There was somebody just sitting in the carpool lane. I hope it's clear. Just be careful going downhill. After that, a pretty good drive over to the 405. Baldwin Park now, where the 605 and the 10 come together. A couple of drivers have tangled in the slow lane, approaching the 10, so that's getting a little slow. And you just heard Jennifer talking about LAX. Oh, boy, northbound 405 at Hawthorne Boulevard. That's about the halfway point between the 110 and the airport. Uh, driver of a red couple of cars, it's just a mess. Uh, we got a bunch of lanes blocked. Northbound 405 uh, stops stop before the 110 building quickly. Uh, going north 110, west 105 into the airport is slightly better. And then going to Long Beach Airport, going that way, south 405 past Atlantic, that seems like they're slow approaching. After that, pretty good drive down to the 605. Nothing too serious in Orange County and Inland Freeway, so let's keep it that way. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jeff Paul.
The Lakers got past the Dallas Mavericks in overtime thanks to an undrafted rookie named Austin Reeves. Final seconds out to Reeves. Three-pointer. Bang! Reeves gives him a three-point lead with nine-tenths of a second remaining. No timeouts for Dallas. Jazz 124 to 103. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. But, but, interest rates, uh, mortgage interest rates are our, still our extremely day. low. But uh, the party's about to end. And uh, was it uh, Wayne was just telling me that the Fed plan on increasing interest rates three times next year. And so you know mortgage rates are going to be hit. So now's the time to refinance. Uh, because uh, this party is going to be over soon. So let me tell you about HMS Capital. And uh, this is the only lender I know that encourages homeowners to apply with other lenders, competitors. Mark Tyson of HMS Capital is that confident he can get you the best deal. You're sitting on a ton of equity uh, in your home because of uh, the value of property has gone up so much. Use it. Doing nothing right now. I've done two mortgages with HMS Capital, so that's an easy referral. Call 833-255-5698, 833-255-5698. Visit hmscapital.com. HMS Capital Funding is a DBA of Golden Empire. Payment and reciting number 2427. HMS Capital Advisors under the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. License number 0130330. Equal housing under. Open the door to unlimited possibilities when you enroll at a California community college. Whether you want to transfer to a four-year university or earn an associate degree, you'll find the support to help make it all happen. Classes can fill up quickly, so enroll today at ICanGoToCollege.com. Living with someone who tested positive for COVID-19 in the past five days? Those 18 and over who are not vaccinated may be able to take part in a clinical trial for possible medication to prevent COVID-19. Participants will receive study-related care at no cost. To learn more, visit COVIDMoveAhead.com. Sponsored by Merck. Your KFI Financial Report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow is up 165, S&P down 4, NASDAQ down 176, and the average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California is $4.67. Bay Alarm Advanced Video Security proactively protects your property, stopping crime before it starts. So tell weather from KFI, mostly cloudy today. There's a 20% chance of rain this afternoon. Otherwise, highs will just be in the mid-50s to low-60s. We've got another chance of rain coming. The early part of next week. Right now it is 39 here in Burbank. We leave local live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. Oh Good morning, Bill Handel on a ah, Thursday ah. morning, December 16th. And the cold snap is I'm assuming assuming gonna end uh, in the next day or two. Jennifer uh, you keep up with the weather, uh, weather far more than yeah, yeah. Uh, What is uh, the forecast? Not actually a lot. It looks like we could have that oh, drop oh. into the 30s overnight, off and on for the next few days, actually. Yeah. So we do have another storm, though, it looks like coming in Tuesday. I'm seeing every, I, I've heard reports and seen reports of Tuesday, Wednesday, oh, Thursday, Friday. I'm bringing in uh, my, the warmest jacket I have in the morning to put it on. Uh, it's gotten to that point. Uh, I want to talk about uh, UC and CSU, uh, not University of California and Cal State University system. First of all, starting with uh, where virtually all of us here uh, went to school, and that is uh, at the Cal State uh, the college, Cal State University, which used to be the college. At state one and the seven, so they called it. Uh, Oh, my God. Uh, right. Good luck. And it used to be, and uh, certainly Jen went to the only school that's actually worse than uh, the Cal State University system that I went to, God forbid. And what was the requirement to go in when we went to college? UPS. Uh, let me tell you what the requirement was at Cal State. Uh, the state teacher. You had to breathe. UPS. If you walked in and they put a mirror under your nose and there was condensation, uh, open. Uh, not anymore. UPS. Not anymore. 
Uh, my wife went to UCLA. She actually was accepted in Berkeley and ended up going to UCLA. Today, yes, mm, yes, she would make it. And Sorry. so what's going on is um, that because <laughs> more people want in, and the average Boston GPA of admitted U uh, C students is now over four point zero percent or something. And you, I, I think the requirement is you had to have or still do uh, 3.5, 3.3 GPA to make you eligible. Well, thousands of eligible students are being shut out. Uh, the state can't meet its promise anymore uh, that there is a UC or Cal State education. Uh, for them. No. You know, we don't have uh, the room, we don't have uh, the number of classes, uh, the universities are being way, way oversubscribed, if you will. Uh